Hey guys, how's it going? So, it's been about two days with the iPhone 10, and uh, I feel like I've gotten to know the phone a lot more than I have the first um, few hours that I've had, or even the first day. And today I, I would really want to talk to you about what uh, many people have been asking, but not many people uh, have made videos on, and that is the battery. How does How is the battery on the new iPhone 10? as compared to the iPhone 7 Plus that I had. I can't speak for everyone because everyone uses their phone differently, but um, the first day I've had it, I pretty much did everything there is to do on the phone. I've played around with portrait mode, I've played around with, uh, with the 4K uh, 60 frames per second video, I've played around with the AR games, like that little dinosaur game that they uh, showed on, uh, on, on um, you know, the, the stage demo. And um, I pretty much use the phone like way, way more than I normally would. And the battery was still phenomenal. Um, I, I will actually put a video uh, right now that will show you, uh, I, I, I did a screen record of the actual battery usage so you guys can pause and see which application used the most battery and see if that would apply to you. Uh, during this screen capture, the battery was at 5% and normally at 20% it would ask you if you want to go into low power mode. I did not go into low power mode, so keep that in mind uh, because the final result, if you did go into power mode, would increase the battery life by at least I, I mean, I never really go into low power mode, so I can't really speak for, uh, you know, I can't really speak the final result, but I would assume it would increase the phone battery life by at least 30 minutes. So go ahead and add that 30 minutes onto the number that you see because that's what it would normally be if you did go into low power mode. Again, I did not. So here's the video. So as you guys saw, uh, WhatsApp did use the most because I did like a one hour video call on WhatsApp. I did, I think that day I did an hour and a half to two hours of uh, just a regular phone call. So that's why I used that most amount. But overall, I mean, you gotta, you gotta think about it. Every single time you unlock the phone, it is using that 3D mapping camera. So that by itself does use battery. Uh, so overall, pretty much a little, literally every single time you unlock it, it, it does waste battery. But I am actually really impressed because I've, I've been getting a better battery life out of this phone than I did with my 7 Plus that I've had for only six months, pretty much since April of 2017. So I don't know why, I mean, um, it, it makes no sense to be honest, but uh, the battery capacity of this is a little bit bigger than uh, the 7 Plus because uh, there's actually two batteries in here. One is pretty much laid out like this and then the other one is laid out like this. Uh, you can see it in a teardown video on YouTube, uh, but that does not mean that it should be more than the 7 Plus because technically, uh, you know, this is way more powerful than the 7 Plus in terms of uh, screen, in terms of uh, PPI, and after all, it is an OLED screen, but then again, OLED uh, does use less battery than uh, standard LCD, but then again, that, that front camera, that's what will drain your battery the most every time you unlock your device. So, um, if you don't actually... If you don't use that 3D, uh, pretty much if you don't use Face ID because you don't have to use it, then you can actually probably get a little bit more battery life out of the iPhone 10. And um, but yeah, but again, I've used this phone literally way more than I would ever use a phone on a normal day-to-day -day basis. As with everything, as with uh, every new device you get, you you uh, tend to use that device more than you normally would uh, for the first few days simply because it's a new device, you're excited, you know, you want to use it, so that's why. So I predict that within a few weeks maybe, uh, when I actually start using the phone as I would with my 7 Plus, then the battery life would actually improve, you know, by a lot because I wouldn't be really playing AR games and all that uh, all that good stuff. Uh, but yeah, overall I'm, I'm really impressed with the iPhone 7 Plus, uh, but iPhone 10 battery. Uh, so if you guys have the iPhone 10, let me know how your battery is. I would like to know. Have a good one.